we go through our processes, uh, which starts with, with reviewing the game. Uh, I think there's moments for sure uh, that we can do better in. Uh, and on the day, uh, New York punished us. They're, they're a good team. I, I felt like we started the game well for, for the first 30 minutes. Uh, uh, we got into a nice rhythm at times uh, with the ball. Uh, and I thought the the first three goals we conceded, we conceded in, in uh, difficult moments just before uh, the water break at 30 minutes, we give up a corner. Uh, and, and when things aren't going well, uh, it, it's uh, frustrating to give up a set piece, mm. uh, albeit a good header. Uh, and then the, the two just before half time uh, come from difficult turnovers and uh, a little bit of luck on the third one to the uh, tough deflection. Uh, we come in at half time, we regroup, uh, change our shape a little bit. Uh, and uh, at times our, our football's okay, uh, but, it, but in key moments, uh, we don't make plays and a, a couple of small errors are compounded. Uh, and uh, NYCFC were, were very good in transition. Uh, they punished us. But before the game I spoke with, uh, your head coach, Nick, and uh, said we've got a really good man in the top goalkeeper. Uh, are you looking after him? And uh, we feel very fortunate to have uh, Sean Johnson with us. Uh, in my four weeks, it's uh, he was away. For, he's been away for most of it at, at the Gold Cup. Uh, but, but what stood out with with Sean is. Uh, He's a winner, and uh, if the club's going to get back to where we were in tw from 2016 to 2018, uh, we need more characters like Sean Johnson uh, in our changing room. And uh, not only does he lead by example, uh, when he does speak, uh, the, the room stops and uh, uh, his words are powerful. In, in my short time with Sean, uh, that's how I'd, I'd paraphrase my interactions. The first thing I said to the players uh, after the game was, uh, thank you for your efforts, in particular in the second half. Uh, we kept going uh, under difficult circumstances. So to that answer, uh, no. I, I don't think that we uh, threw the towel in by any means. And I shared uh, with the team, the second thing I said is uh, we brought all the staff in the room and I s shared with the players that we're not going to give up on you. Uh, we believe in you as a group. Uh, we'll review our processes and, and where we can do better as a staff to, to set you up for success. We'll continue to live our principles, which are staying positive creating a, a high performance environment and being purposeful with everything that we do and, and sharing the why with the team. Uh, so that, that's what was said in the changing room and, and no, again, to, to re reiterate, uh, I, I don't think the players gave up, they kept pushing and uh, I thought on the night NYCFC, is, as we said before, really punished uh, any mistakes. As a follow-up, he asked if you said that from the start the players have to trust the process, but the team has yet to score or collect a point since in the five games you've been in charge. With that in mind, does the process have to change? Again, uh, thanks, John. Uh, we'll continue to review uh, how we work on the technical side, as will our other departments, uh, where we can grow and, and get better with our process. Uh, but I think uh, part of it is, is down to a little bit of resilience, that when we do take a punch, uh, that we're, we are able to take it and, and continue to, to play and be brave and pass the ball. Uh, and yes, we do need to score, but I thought in the first 30 minutes, uh, we did create a couple half chances. Jordan Perutza had a header at the back post. 
uh, and we did get in behind their back line. Uh, so I think I do think the goal's coming, uh, but but there's other things as well. I, I think we all have to be accountable for the performance, and and I don't think you can hide from five now. Uh, and as we started the press conference, we'll we'll review the game, uh, how we operate. Uh, and, and we'll be ready to go on, on Sunday against Atlas. Uh, and, and I think it's important uh, that we continue to, to represent MLS. And uh, it's not, not every week we get to play against a Liga MX side uh, at home, so we'll be ready to go. For us, we started at a level playing field, and uh, there's definitely an excitement and freshness to the competition. Uh, we've enjoyed watching some of the fixtures up until today and uh, that, yeah, it's a, it's a nice opportunity uh, to play uh, a Liga MX side. And uh, my feel is that the MLS sides have, have represented the league well and uh, we'll be trying to do the same on Sunday. NYCFC were a little bit unlucky to, to not take a point or more from it. Uh, I, I thought there was an intensity to the game. Uh, that, that cup competitions bring. Um, so yeah, that, that would be my, uh, those would be my takeaways.